On behalf of the Consulate General of India, I welcome you to a joint event together with the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial Committee Hamburg to celebrate 150 years of the Mahatma. The program will start with the gallanting of the photograph of Mahatma Gandhi by Consul General Sri Madanlal Raigar and Mr. Bhagwan from MGMC followed by lighting of the lamp. Thereafter, the moderation of the program will be carried forward by Mr. Bhagwan. I now request Consul General Sri Madanlal Raigar and Mr. Bhagwan to come forward and garland the photograph of Mahatma Gandhi. Before I, I start the program, I would like to mention that the convener or the coordinator of the Mahatma Gandhi Committee, Mr. Sinaroy, was supposed to be here as well, but unfortunately his wife is too serious at the moment and he is, he is with his wife at the moment and he is trying to fix some kind of a medical assistance so that he can come over. He will, any time, he has promised me that he would be coming over to the home I will, before the actual program starts, they have to have a invocation. <coughs> and I, may I request Mrs. Meenakshi Gautam to present the invocation.
program that we had set ourselves as a, an example and <coughs> followed by Deepankar Sinaroy, who will who post the program he will be coming, and of course myself joined together with the initial objective to propose to the Hamburg government authorities that the city state <coughs> designates a street, a park, a building, or a very prominent place with the name of Mahatma Gandhi. This was very successfully conducted and in the form that we collected signatures from the Hamburg public and we collected somewhere around 95,000 signatures with the help of which we were able to follow up with the government over a time and were able to get the sanction of the government. Subsequently, as a result of our close follow-up with the government authorities and the then Minister for Cultural Affairs, late Professor Dr. Barbara Kisela, our dream came true. Dr. Kisela made it possible to rename a bridge in this Hafen city. In the Hafen city from Zand to Hafen Klappenbrücke, a very complicated name they had. <laughs> This name was, was changed to Mahatma Gandhi. This is a great achievement and a great satisfaction for all the work that has been put by all of us. An opening ceremony of the bridge was held at the bridge on the 2nd of October 2012 with active participation of our then Consul General Mrs. Subhashini Murugeshan and the district chief, the so-called Betsil Leiter, Betsil's of Leiter, Mr. Andy Grote, who is presently the Home Minister in the Hamburg government. You will be able to see some of those pictures which we are going to show now. And with, with the cooperation of these two and the Cultural Senator Kisela. The bridge's location is phenomenal in that it connects the famous concert hall, the Elb Philharmonie, with the main street, Santokai, in Hafen City. Millions of tourists and visitors will be, visit, will be using this bridge and will notice and remember the name of the great man, Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation. We could not have had a better location than this. MGMC naturally is very proud for having achieved this. Everything was not very smooth. We did have some opposition from the local people saying that you are bringing in a name which is very completely foreign to the surroundings there. But we always sort the problem out with the all. There is no point in contradicting and conflicting with people. If you have a different opinion, it is absolutely necessary that that you talk to the people the problem that we have, that people will understand the problems and they will be able to accommodate you. This is what exactly we did. We called the two ladies who were opposing in the newspapers about this particular bridge, sat over a cup of coffee, had the discussions, convinced them, and then they gave up this opposition against this idea. Ultimately, it has become a reality and today you can see that as well. The bridge is 80 meter long 
And after the renovation and modernization, and as a result, the street width is increased to 8.5 meters at a cost of nearly 14 million euros. With the increase of visitors to Hafen city and Elton Harmony, it is anticipated that the present bridge will necessarily be enlarged to be in a position to handle this kind of a traffic. That means you will have a bigger bridge with a bigger name. And that is a matter of pride to all of us. <coughs> Today we have gathered together here to celebrate his birthday. And we have several programs, several items on the program. And uh, <coughs> I will now request to start with our Council General, Mr. Raigar, to give the welcome address and always also speak a few words on Gandhiji. <coughs> We are still in the kicking problems with logistics and uh, other related issues. As you know, when we move into a new building, new house, new office, those are the very common uh, features. One thing here, one thing there. We correct, try to correct one thing here, the other thing get towards there. And but still, we are able to put our office here despite so many hurdles. And this is the first event in our office here in the new building. So it becomes and is dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi and, and also organized by, co-organized by MGMC. So that way also in this historical building, this event will be a historic one. When the history of will be written of this council at this building, then it will be there that the first event was, was held during Mahatma Gandhi's birth anniversary, one of the birth anniversary. It's a sort of inaugural event, though formal inauguration is still pending, but with the name like Mahatma Gandhi, I think he's the biggest enlightener for us. So I'm happy that the event is starting with his name and I welcome you all today, tomorrow, day after in this new building which has much bigger, better space and we will try to improve the facilities here. So whatever the internments initially you all have, so that please ignore. Thank you very much. All of the spirits of Mahatma Gandhi Memorial Committee, Bhagwanji, Mr. Bhagnav, Mrs. Bhagnav, we are missing Mr. Sinaram and others who order to help you. My colleagues from the consulate, distinguished guests, my brothers and sisters from the community, ladies and gentlemen, Namaskar, and very good afternoon to all of you. Today's event is 
though it is not 2nd October, the actual birthday, but it's part of the one year ongoing uh, celebration of 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, which is being celebrated not only in India, but all around the world. And we just heard so melodiously the song was sung by Naksi. This song was recorded two months back by her also and 123 other singers all around the world from 124 countries. And then the medley was prepared and that medley was actually launched by our Prime Minister Ms. Modi on 2nd October in Delhi when then there was a Mahat the concluding day of Mahatma Gandhi uh, so sanitation commission was there and that was in the presence of United Nations Secretary General. So that was and it is available on, on the uh, YouTube, MEA uh, YouTube and it has, be it has become so viral that it is a proud moment for us and of course the one who wrote long the, the, the saint of 15th century in Gujarati, he wrote this uh, song, uh, Mr. Narsi Mehta, right? And so that's a proud moment for us. Vaishnav Janto Tene Kahi, Jipeed Parai Jani Re. This is such a message which Mahatma Gandhi gave. The literal meaning of this is that he who understands the pain of other, another and absorbs it as his own is a good human being. He who sees this pain and helps to eradicate that pain without becoming arrogant is a good human being. We have to understand the pain of other human beings. Let's work in the benefit of the less fortunate. Let's work for a world where there is peace, serenity and shared prosperity. A world that is free from terrorism, tension and violence. Here I would like to touch upon some of the benefits of sorry, beliefs. Mahatma Gandhi has not only preached for others but lived himself. His way of living is the best example of sustainable development for the world. In his own world, words, earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. The economic development is the most important marker of country's growth. In order to achieve targets of development, developing and developed nations are irrationally exploiting their natural resources without concerns and understanding of how to exploit and when to exploit. If we can strike a correct balance between usage and availability of resources, then lives of people and resources of the planet could be managed well. However, when life is turned into excessive luxury and comfort, this balance could break. Use and throw is not fit for the sustainable development. While reduce, recycle, reuse is the best concept of sustainable development as it leads to balancing of needs and uses. It won't be out of place to mention here that India has reason to meet the sustainable development goals briefly called SDGs set by the United Nations. We are seriously working in that direction to achieve these goals by 2030. India in partnership with France launched the International Solar Alliance. The United Nations has recognized their contribution and conferred on Indian Prime Minister Mr. Modi and the French President Mr. Macron, the greatest owner of United Champions of the Earth. And it's not a small uh, achievement for India with so much big population and so many difficulties to make this environment sustainable. Mahatma Gandhi said, an eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. He stood for Ahinsa, the non-violence. Hatred and violence can never be a solution to anything. The horrific tragedy of 9-11 in New York 
and the catastrophe of 26/11 in Mumbai became the nightmare, nightmares that shattered our dreams. Even Germany has not been spared with this hatred, whether it was in Berlin, Munich, Hamburg, or elsewhere. The demon of terrorism and violence now stalks the world at a faster pace, somewhere, a slower pace elsewhere, but life threatening everywhere. In 1996, India proposed a draft document on comprehensive convention on international terrorism (CCIT) at the United Nations. Till today, that draft has remained a draft because the member nations have so far not agreed on a common language. On the one hand, we want to fight terrorism; on the other, we cannot define it. This is why terrorists, with the price on their head, are celebrated, financed. And armed as liberation heroes, cruelty and barbarism are advertised as heroism. If we do not act now, we will have to deal with conflagration later. We sincerely hope that the United Nations comes to an agreement soon on CCIT as one of the necessary measures in curbing this hatred and menace to mankind. Gandhi said that when someone slaps you on one cheek, offer him the other one. <coughs> that was the height of tolerance he preached. Though in today's world, this much tolerance is not possible and is also not practical. However, if we imbibe Mahatma Gandhi's message of tolerance in true spirit, a little here and a little there. The whole world, the whole society, will become so peaceful and without hatred. On women empowerment, Gandhi said that women have been suppressed under custom and law, for which men was responsible, and in the shaping of which she had no hand. Rules of social conduct must be framed by mutual cooperation and consultation. Women have been taught to regard themselves as slaves of men. Women must realize their full status and play their part as equals of men. Those were the words of Gandhi. India has been working on this front too. All developmental schemes of the government has been keeping in mind, mind the welfare of the women, whether it is Jandan Yojana, Ujula Yojana. Skill India campaign, Mudra loan scheme, extended maternity leave for the working women, which are the maximum among the world, etc., etc. The ordinance brought by the government to mitigate the threat of triple talaq is also an effort to empower the Muslim women on whom the utterances of triple talaq by their husbands. Was like a sword hanging on their head, making their marital life miserable. At the heart of Prime Minister Modi ji, transformative, uh, transformative vision is a radical idea that the uplift of any nation is best achieved through the all-round empowerment of women. Most of the schemes have the welfare of women at their core. By 2022, Free India will be 75 years old. We have pledged to build a new India by then. This new India will be Swachh Bharat, Swast Bharat, and that the campaign of the industry here. Clean India, Healthy India, Smart Bharat, Surakshit Bharat, Prosperous India. Secure India, Sikshit Bharat, Vixit Bharat, Educated India, Developed India, Urjavan Bharat, Shakti Man Bharat, Energized India, Strong India. That is our horizon for India in 2022, and we will reach that horizon. I request the Indian diaspora present here. To browse through the social media and web page of the Indian Consulate,
since we have the Indian diaspora present here mostly, I request the Indian diaspora present here to browse through the social media and web page of Indian Consulate in Hamburg and also the Embassy of India Berlin for updates on any information which concerns them. Mahatma Gandhi returned to India on 9th January 1915 from South Africa and here and hence 9th January is celebrated as Parvasi Bhartiya Divas, PBD. Government of India celebrates PBD in a grand way every two years to welcome the Indian diaspora living abroad. Announces special schemes for their welfare, recognizes and appreciates their contribution to not only to motherland India but also to the world. Next PBD is being organized in the city of Varanasi, commencing on 21st January 2019 and coinciding with Kumbh Mela and also with the Republic Day of India. The PPD webpage has already been announced and is active. Registration are open for the NRIs and PIOs. I ask to the Indian diaspora to register themselves in huge numbers and visit India to be part of this grand celebration as this celebration and events are for you. And please encourage others. I especially request the association to please publicize this event and uh, uh, tell your members if they are planning their leave, they should plan during this PPT celebration time. There is another program, No India and Scholarships for the Indian Diaspora children to study in India, details of which are available on our social media pages and web page. Please do take advantage of such welfare schemes specially devised by the Indian government keeping in view the interests of Indian diaspora in mind. While we are celebrating the 150th birth anniversary year of Mahatma Gandhi, let's all take a place to live by the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi who is revered the world over as one of the history's most transformative and inspirational figures. Known for his courage and compassion, Gandhiji's steadfast approach to truth and freedom allowed him to channel the dreams and aspirations of the masses into a movement that broke the chain of colonial rule. Let's work towards building an India of his dreams, a clean India, a strong India, a nation committed to exploring its full potential through its workforce. In today's world, where self-glorification is a common norm, 